One of the biggest stories from Bloomsday last year was a viral video of two boys while they went up Doomsday Hill. Except they weren't running, they were wheeling. We caught up with the pair as virtual Bloomsday continues on this week. You got this, Aiden! The next morning, my mom's like, you're on the news? I'm like, what? I didn't even know that, I didn't even know that people took pictures of us. Soon people around the world not only knew, but saw Aiden Youngblood and Darren Ugolini traversing up Doomsday Hill in a video that inspired many. It also inspired emotion, even from the people who see the two kids overcoming the odds every day. What was your initial reaction when you saw the video? Tears. <laughs> Yeah, um, he does a lot that just tears of joy. Yeah, it, and I couldn't believe it. It's something that I couldn't even do. I'm an able-bodied adult. The video impacted a lot of people, and watching that impact also impacted the boys and the people around them. I didn't realize it went viral. I thought it was just me <laughs> watching it, you know, a hundred times. My parents saw it. They're down in Georgia and it made their news to know that these two we're inspiring the whole nation. It's, it's amazing to think about what they were doing. It was an opportunity for me to tell him that, you know, there are people that see this that may have thought that they couldn't do it, and now they might rethink that just because of seeing you do it. Really fun, made us proud. Made me kind of happy that people realize that disabled people can still do a lot of things. The part of the video that resonated with so many was when Darren helped push Aiden up the hill. According to Darren's mom, he doesn't see it like that. If you ask Darren, he doesn't think about that he was pushing Aiden up the hill. They were helping each other to get up the hill. That's mostly how he talks about it. So, um, But it was neat to watch the two of them work together for probably what was the hardest part of the race. So what you been up to? Nothing much, you? Uh, hanging out, Xboxing. In a moment that they never realized the world would be watching, the duo made a statement that you can compete, but also help each other along the way. They do want to make it clear, though, there is a lot of competing. Toodaloo. Would you guys both describe yourselves as pretty competitive? Yes, definitely. We always compete when we're racing around here. Oh, yeah. We just keep it low key. Just keeping it low key. Darren and Aiden did compete in virtual Blooms Day this year, but they did not do so on the actual course since, of course, there are cars on it right now. Aiden told me he did miss Doomsday Hill this year, while Darren said, eh, not so much. Can't say I blame him. That's it for sports.